And there you have it. In, in a move that most of us felt was going to happen last year, as far as Chuck Clark being traded, not even necessarily to the Jets, but we felt like he would definitely be traded. Uh, but fast forward a year later, and it's official. Chuck Clark has been traded to the New York Jets. And let, let, let's see the compensation uh, that the Ravens got for Chuck Clark. Um, it says... The Jets agreed to send a 2024 seventh round pick to the Ravens in exchange for safety Chuck Clark. Poor league sources. Trade is agreed to, but cannot be processed until new league year begins Wednesday. Um, so with that being said, I um wow. Wow. It's uh it's not shocking that he was traded at all. My shock really comes for the compensation. I really thought that for Chuck Clark, I, I thought that it was gonna be a, a fifth rounder. At the high, I thought it was going to be a fifth round that he, he would get traded for, not not a, a seventh round pick. That just goes to show you that um, a couple of things that his value was not very high, but also that the Ravens were like, we just we just trying to move off of Chuck Clark. Um, they, of course, drafted Kyle Hamilton in the first round last year. And Kyle Hamilton, he did his thing last year, started off struggling a little bit, but he, he got better as time went along. Uh, played very, very good around the line of scrimmage. Um, played in, around the box and whatnot. Played a lot of slot corner and whatnot. Um, so he had a lot of different roles. He was a good pass rusher. Um, so Kyle Hamilton did his thing last year. So now that it's official that Chuck Clark is traded, we would expect Kyle Hamilton to have an even bigger role um, for things to even more to be put on his plate. And also, there's Geno Stone, too. This opens up more possibility for Geno Stone. And, and with Geno Stone... He's obviously a lot cheaper than a, a Chuck Clark was. But shout out to Chuck Clark. Chuck Clark is a, is a solid player. Chuck Clark, um, the way that he handled his, this whole situation, um, because he requested to be traded last year, but obviously the Ravens didn't fulfill that request. They kept him around. Uh, and it ended up working out. He ended up being a big part of that defense. And he's somebody that just, they came out of nowhere onto the scene. Um, Chuck Clark, I, th I believe he stepped in for uh, Tony Jefferson. Some years back when Tony Jefferson got injured uh, and Chuck Clark, he stepped in and stepped up and he never looked back, never looked back. He ended up uh, getting a green dot for a while, ended up calling the plays for the Ravens and stuff. And he was a leader on the Baltimore Ravens. And leadership is something that it cannot be uh, underappreciated. It should not be underappreciated, but oftentimes it is. Uh, so with the New York Jets, I'm a very, very young team, uh, but a, a good team, an up and coming team. What Chuck Clark provides is solid play, but phenomenal leadership. Uh, when he requested his trade last year, never made a scene, never made anything like public, anything like that. Never. I mean, we got a few little cryptic tweets or whatever, but it wasn't nothing crazy. But he never he didn't never held out. He showed up to OTAs. He showed up to everything. He didn't skip out on anything, even though he had requested to be gone. So shout out to the way that he handled that. So, um. With New York Jets, that's a, a good defense. Um, I know they're trying to work something out on offense with Aaron Rodgers. We'll see what happens with that. But Chuck Clark, he'll be a solid addition uh, to New York. So New York fans, uh, y'all should enjoy him. Um, it's, it's like he got an extra safety slash linebacker because he plays a lot around the box. Um, as far as playing deep, he, he'll play deep too. Uh, he needs all right at playing deep. Um, not the best, definitely not the worst, though. But he has a lot of nice pieces around him. So that's the beautiful thing about the New York Jets and their defense. You, you got a lot of nice pieces around you. So when you got nice pieces around you, that makes your job that much easier. So shout out to Chuck Clark. Um, congrats on, like, starting from the bottom, like literally starting from the bottom and then working his way up. And now he can say when he gets to New York, now I'm here.